Hi, this is Dr. Liam, a developmental optometrist in Toronto area. Today I want to talk about anisometropia, which means the two eyes have really large prescription difference. So I briefly mentioned it last time about lazy eye. So anisometropia sometimes will lead to lazy eye, but it's not always equal. So for example, uh, someone's got minus nine in one eye, minus one, uh, there's definitely going to be some lazy eye here. Uh, but if say someone's got minus two and minus four, um, they may not have lazy eye, and if someone's got minus two and zero, they may not wear their glasses. Uh, but however, even if they are deciding not to wear the glasses, or uh, they do wear the glasses, they do get vision fatigues, because the two images may not be joining together, and it's harder for their brain to process it. So, um, for example, in the case of zero and minus two, so they may decide not to wear the glasses, but over time, the eye that's minus two and is not corrected, it gets very, very tired. So the eyes start tearing, it gets red, they'll give up work. Um, if they're already an adult, um, it affects their daily work. So they would actually be trying to rush through things and they would have less accuracy in their work, or they would take longer to work because they have to take more breaks. So. Having a proper correction, either in glasses or contact lens, uh, it would definitely help them go a long way to reduce those eye fatigues, such as tearing, um, eyes burning, eyes um, causing uh, your, you to give up. Sometimes they may even blank out. So definitely worth it to see a developmental optometrist to get those fixed. So uh, the lenses could help passively, but to actively heal you, we need to do vision therapy to heal you. So vision therapy would um, help you see uh, using your corrected glasses, um, will help you use your eyes more effectively for far, for near, and do uh, different eye movements that you need for reading. So for reading, you need to use saccades, which means uh, the letters are not going to jump for you. You have to read the letters on the computer or on the print. So that's called saccadic eye movements. So a lot of the time, the saccadic eye movements are affected in those that has any somatropia or binocular vision problems. Um, if you want to learn more details, please uh, put a comment below and I'll talk about it in my next video. Thank you very much. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about uh, other smaller binocular vision disorders.